The Courtship of Glinda Goodness by Craig Limekeeler. The Proposal. Cast of characters are yours truly, Daniel, as the narrator, the person who narrates the action. Glenda Goodness, a sweet, innocent, wholesome girl who thinks nothing but good thoughts, played by Catherine. Hello, I'm Granny Goodness, Glenda's guardian who protects her from all the evils in this world, played by Lisa. Frederick Felspar, a loathsome excuse for a human being and would be a suitor to Glenda Goodness. Lance Brodulers, the rich and handsome stranger. As this week's episode of The Courtship of Glenda Goodness begins, we find Glenda getting dinner ready for her guardian granny goodness. Oh dear, Granny Goodness will be home at any moment and I must start to prepare dinner. Oh, there's nothing here in the cupboard but a single pea and a kernel of corn. Oh, well, we'll just have to tighten our belts and make the best of things. I know Granny will understand. Hello, Glenda. I'm home. Mm -hmm. Yes, I can see that. After all, we do live in just a one-room shack. But why are you home so early, Granny Goodness? Well, Glenda, I'm afraid I do have some bad news. Oh, no. You don't mean... Yes, Glenda, I'm afraid it's true. You've lost your library card? <laughs> well... I'm afraid it's a little bit worse than that, my dear. I lost my job at the ingot factory. The owner, Mr. Feldspar, said that he had to let me go because of Mother's Day. He said sales failed to meet expectations. Oh, but you loved that job. Pouring the molten ore into the mold, polishing the ingots, loading the ingots under the truck beds. Ingots were your life, not to mention the $1.22 you brought home each week. Oh, Granny, whatever are we going to do? Oh, Lord, Glenn, not only did Mr. Felsar fire me, but he gave me an eviction notice, too. Oh, dear, Granny, goodness. Oh. Are we going to lose our humble home? Yes, dear, I'm afraid that's true. If we can come up with all the money to pay off all the mortgage by noon tomorrow. As Glenda and Granny Goodness find themselves in dire straits, they hear a knocking on their door. Who is Frederick Felspar, Inga Tycoon, and your landlord. Ooh. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Uh, excuse me, excuse me, Miss, 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 Mr. Felspar. I, I, I wasn't, I wasn't expecting you. I'm afraid I don't have the money for the mortgage yet, but I promise you that we will get it to you before noon tomorrow. My, what a car, car. Charismatic, charming, and lovely granddaughter you have. I was hoping to collect my money you owed me, but now I have a better idea. <laughs> I will forgive the mortgage this month if you give your granddaughter's hand to me. 
Oh, oh, his son. He's the worst. No, I could never marry a man as beastly as you. Please give us more time to raise the money. I am sure we can find some way to pay you. By noon tomorrow, I will have either your hand or you'll be out in the streets. <gasps> oh, Granny goodness, whatever are we going to do? This simple three-walled shack is all I have ever known. Yes, 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 dear, I know, dear. It's not been easy living in a triangle, but it's the only thing I could afford. Perhaps things will look better tomorrow. And with that, Glinda and her grandmother go to sleep, hoping for a miracle. As a new day dawns, Glinda and Granny Goodness are awakened by a knocking on the door. Who is it? Is this the humble home of Granny and Glenda Goodness? Who wants to know? It is I, Lance Broadshoulders, noted art doorsman, philanthropist, pinnacle player, and architect buff. Hooray! 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 Ooh, please do come in, Mr. Broadshoulders. Shh. Good morning, ladies. This is your lucky day. Oh, my. You are quite handsome, Mr. Broadshoulders. I'm Glenda. Pray tell, why have you come here to visit our humble three-walled home? And you, my dear, are as lovely as a new spring day. As I just mentioned, I'm an architect buff, and your three-walled home is architectural rarity, and I must own it. No, oh, I am afraid that afternoon today, it will no longer be ours. The Inca tycoon, Frederick Feldspar, is demanding we pay off the mortgage by noon today, or I must marry him. You are in a terrible pickle, but I have a proposal. I will pay off your mortgage, allow you and your dear granny to live here for as long as you wish. Totally rent free. Yay. 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 Oh my goodness. That is wonderful news. Did you hear that, Granny Goodness? Mr. Broad Shoulders is going to pay off the mortgage and let us live here rent free. Oh. <laughs> yes, 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 my dear. Oh, that is wonderful news but I'm afraid I'm still out of a job at the Ingot Factory. I will pay you double what you earned at the Ingot Factory for being the caretakers of this unique dwelling. Yay! 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 My, what a wonderful day this has turned out to be. And with that concludes this week's episode of The Courtship of Glenda Goodness. Tune in next week when we hear Brellance Broadshoulders say, What do you mean you found another wall? <laughs>